Hello everyone, I will be taking you through all the details in the GCSE music course and what would be expected of you if you were to take music as a GCSE subject this year. So why take GCSE music? You will learn to perform confidently on your chosen instrument, in solos and in ensembles. You will learn how to write and compose your own music whether that's in a pop style or in a more classical style, and you will learn how to sight read sheet music and be able to analyse pieces of music with an understanding of music theory. The music GCSE course is broken down into three units. The first unit is a performance unit, which is 35%. The second unit is a composing unit, which is also 35%. And unit three is an appraising exam. So the course is made up of 70% coursework. To go into more detail of each of the units, the first unit, the performance unit, which is 35%, needs to be four to six minutes long in its entirety. So that will make up one solo performance and one ensemble performance. So an ensemble performance being in a group. Your pieces must be at least grade three standard. If you play above the grade three standard, you will get more marks. So I suggest you would start practicing straight away. The performance is worth 30% and then the extra 5% is for a programme note where you write about one of the pieces you've performed. If you're interested in having music lessons which would support your performance exam and help you develop as a player or a singer, come see me at a brief for lunch for a letter because we do hold lessons in the school. Um, and if you want, you can join a music extracurricular to also help with your confidence with performing. So you can either join choir or start a band or even join in the school show. Here's the mark scheme for the performance exam. So both your solo performance and your ensemble performance will be marked out of 36 marks each. And you'll be marked in three areas. Your accuracy of your performance, your technical control and your expression and interpretation of the piece. Unit 2, which is your second largest piece of coursework that you'll need to complete, is the composing unit, which is again also 35%. You will be composing two compositions, so two songs or two pieces of music that need to be um, of a combined length of three to six minutes long. So that's about one and a half minutes each for each composition. One composition will be written in response to a brief set by WJC. Uh, that composition um, will be completed during year 11 and your second composition is a free composition and you can choose your own brief. You will write your compositions on Sibelius which is a music software which is a notation like I've got on the screen um, or record it onto Audacity or GarageBand. So here's the mark scheme for the composition uh, which is very similar to the performance mark scheme. Um, where both compositions will be marked out 36 marks each and you'll be marked on not only your use of instruments and how effectively you, you use them or your musical ideas and use of musical elements but also how well you respond to either the brief given by the WJEC or the one that you give yourself. So for example, um, one of the briefs that the exam board could give you is writing a theme for a spy film and you would be marked based on how effectively you've used instruments and musical elements in order to um, portray that brief or that theme. The final part of the Music GCSE course is your Unit 3 appraising exam. What that means is it's a listening exam. Whereas other exams um, across the school will be just a paper, in a music exam they'll play you eight different pieces of music with a set of uh, between eight and ten questions for each piece of music and you'll have to answer questions based on music theory, knowing instruments and your musical elements. So the four areas of study that is broken into are uh, musical forms and devices, music for ensembles, that's different like groups of music, um, film music and popular music. All of them are unseen extracts, you don't know what songs are going to come up, apart from two pieces, which are your set works, and one of them is a classical piece of music in the first area of study, and the second one is a popular piece of music in the fourth area of study. So just to give you an idea of how this course is going to pan out over the next three years, in year nine we're going to start several ideas for compositions, which you will then pick from to develop in the following year. 
Um, we will do multiple class performances with some practice um, class assessment um, and a mock performance exam at the end of the year. Um, and then we'll have multiple theory tests. So don't worry if you can't read music or you know absolutely nothing, you can't tell different instruments apart. We will go through that during that year nine year. In year 10, we will complete our first composition based on one of the ideas we started in year nine. So you will have between three and five different ideas for your compositions and you'll pick one then to make into a full composition for your free composition. Um, again, we'll have multiple class performances and a mock performance exam at the end of the year. And we will also have a mock appraising exam at the end of the year um, as a practice ready for year 11. And then year 11, we'll complete our second composition um, from the brief given by WJEC. And then we'll have our actual performance exam, which is a recorded exam only in front of me and Mrs. Barrett. And then the appraising exam is at the end of the year. If you have any questions for me or you want to discuss any part of the course further, um, if you're interested in taking the subject, then please come and see me anytime. You can either message me on Instagram or email me with any questions you might have. Um, but apart from that, I hope to see many of you in my GCSE class next year.